Hey guys, what's up? This is Shuri from eGadgets for you. And in this video, I'll talk about the upcoming MWC 2017 going to hell from 27th of February in Barcelona. Now there has been a lot of happening and obviously there are big brands like Samsung, LG, Motorola, or so as to say Lenovo, Nokia, and Blackberry making its mark in the MWC. So in this video, we will talk about what to expect and what are the handset that all these brands are coming along with and what are the features that we can expect to find in this particular handset. So let's dig deep into this full video. At first, let's start with Blackberry. Blackberry Mercury, this particular handset is supposed to be the last handset from Blackberry that will be developed in-house by Blackberry before TCL takes over. Now this particular handset of Blackberry Mercury, uh, there were not a lot of speculations or there were no rumors as such, but till now whatever tipsters has provided to us, we came to know that the Blackberry Mercury is supposed to have a fingerprint scanner that will be embedded in the space bar itself and it will have a 4.5 inch of screen, it will be powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 430 chipset powered by a quad-core processor that is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz is supposed to support a 13 megapixel shooter as well. Beyond that, not much has been revealed, but it will soon be unveiled in the MWC 2017. So look forward for that. Next up is the biggest news that is Nokia, the brand that is making a comeback with the Android handsets and MWC 2017 holds a great platform for Nokia also as to say HMT Global, the marketing platform or the marketing sponsor for Nokia itself worldwide. Now, what Nokia is doing at first, the 3310 reboot. I hope everybody knows the Nokia 3310 handset, which has made its mark in every household at that point of time. Now, Nokia is again coming with a 3310 reboot handset, which is supposed to support a 1.5 inch of color screen and it will have a back camera, FM sub radio support as well. But then again, these are all tipsters and rumors that we have found. So we look forward that with the 3310, what Nokia will be up. Next up will be the launch of the Android handsets from Nokia. Let's start with the flagship model of Nokia, that is Nokia P1, supposed to be launched with the name of Nokia 8. This particular handset is supposed to sport a 5.3 inch of screen size with full HD display. It will have internal memory of 128 gigs and 256 gigs variant. It will support 6 GB of RAM and will have a 22.6 megapixel back camera with Z's lens. So this is some good features that is supposed to have in the Nokia 8. Additionally, they have claimed, or actually it's not, uh, it's, this claim is not by Nokia, it's by the rumors that has been going around the corner that Nokia 8 is supposed to have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset. But here is a contradiction because Samsung has stated that they will be the first company to have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset with their flagship model of S8 and S8 Plus. So again, we have to wait and see that what Nokia 8 will be tell and what will be done will like in the mobile world congress from Nokia with this flagship model. Next in line from Nokia is a Nokia 3, the supposedly entry level Android handset from Nokia itself. Uh, this particular handset is rumored to have a 5.2 inch of screen size with HD display. It will sport a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 chipset with a quad core processor that is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. It's supposed to have a 2 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs of internal memory and micro SD support as well. Also additionally, it's supposed to have a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera. Again, these are all tips to informations that I am feeding over here. And we obviously look forward that what will be the full aspect of Nokia 3 from Nokia or HMT Global, so as to say. Now, another in line is the Nokia 5. Not much has been revealed or there is no, not much speculation regarding the Nokia 5 specs uh, till now. But whatever we have found out that it's supposed to have a 5.2 inch of screen as well and will support a 2 gigs of RAM and will have a 12 megapixel wear camera. Again, these uh, remains to be seen in the unveiling of the Nokia 5 uh, from Nokia in the MWC 2017 as well. Lastly, Nokia will also unveil, uh, actually it will uh, launch the Nokia 6 handset, till now it's made available only in China, uh, but from the Mobile World Congress 2017, it will be made available globally as well. The biggest unveil of MWC 2017 that is going to happen tomorrow is a flagship model from LG, the LG G6. 
It's supposed to sport a 5.7 inch of screen size with quad HD display. It will have an internal memory of 32 gigs, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, supposed to have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 chipset as well. And also it will have a full vision display with the new UX of 6.0 with a new UI of LG as well. It is also expected to have a dual 13 megapixel shooter at the back. So again, it's a flagship model from LG and a lot is at stake with LG also because of the dismal performance with handset in 2016. So yes, obviously expectations are high and we hope that LG lives forward to that as well. Next up, we have the unveil of the Moto G5 and the Moto G5 Plus from Motorola or so as to say Lenovo has, has taken over Motorola recently. Now with the G5 and the G5 Plus, both with a mid-range handset and very popular G series handset from Motorola so as to say a lot is at stake as well for this particular company as well. Uh, there, off late there has been a lot of leaks and a lot of rumors and we hope that we got a fair bit of look at the specs of for both the devices. Both the devices is supposed to sport a full HD display. It will have a Corning Gorilla Glass free protection at top, 5 megapixel selfie camera. It will have the water and dust resistant as well. Uh, fingerprint scanners are supposed to be at the front end only for both the devices. The difference lies in the size and the chipsets. The Moto G5 is supposed to have a 5 inch of screen size with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 chipset with a quad core processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. Whereas the Moto G5 Plus is supposed to sport a 5.5 inch of screen with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 chipset with an octa-core processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Both the handset will sport a 2 gigs of RAM variant as well. And the internal memory uh, leaks has suggested that it will be 32 gigs and will be expandable with a micro SD card up to 128 gigs. Again, remains to be seen when the unveil occurs for both the Moto G5 and the G5 Plus. And obviously, uh, with the prior experience with the G series of Motorola, it has been great and smooth and we look forward to a good handset from Lenovo with this unveil as well. Now obviously the center stage is always at Samsung in the MWCs but this year the disappointment is that Samsung will not unveil the Samsung Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus, its flagship models in the MWC but uh, the good news is that they will actually unveil the day when both these flagship models will be available to the market or the unveil when it will occur. Uh, obviously, Samsung will not go empty hand. It will uh, launch the Samsung Tab. It will launch the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3, the flagship uh, model on the tablet variation from Samsung. It's supposed to have a 9.7 inch of screen with full HD display. It will support a resolution of 2048 into 1396 pixels. It's supposed to have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset with 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal memory. It will have Android Nougat straight out of the box and also 4G LTE supports as well. So uh, in a way we look forward to the tablet variations uh, from Samsung. But it would have been nice if we had got a hold of S8 or the S8 Plus in MWC. And lastly, the biggest news is obviously Reliance Geo. Yes, Reliance Geo has also booked a slot in the MWC 2017. It will actually acknowledge the landmark of crossing 100 million users in India. And also it will extend its plan for the international brand and international horizons also with Reliance Geo. So we look forward to that also in the MWC 2017 and hope that yes, Reliance Geo also set foods abroad as well as it has done in India. So these are the things that, will, uh, that we are looking forward to in the MWC 2017 going to start from tomorrow itself. And a lot is at stake and a lot of happening and a lot of excitement is there. So stay tuned to my channel. I'll give you all the updates with the MWC as it goes along and as unveils occurs as well. Uh, I hope this video helps. If it was helpful, please don't forget to do that while coming to my channel or subscribing to my channel. That'll be it guys. Bye for now.